last video, we learned how to design the first page of our notebook. With today's video, we are going to learn how to add the spiral binding to our notebook. First, I am going to add the holes of the binding. So, I will add a rectangle shape from the insert tab. Now we are going to add a suitable color for this. Let's select the fill bucket. Then from the solid fill, I am going to select the eyedropper. Now we are going to select a suitable color. So I think dark purple is good. Now we need to remove the outline of my small rectangle. Okay, so as we did before, you can go to the format tab. So from here, you can remove the outline. Let's give a small realistic look by adding an inner shadow for this. So I'll select the shadow option and then from here, I'll select this. Now we need to give the spiral binding. Now to do this, I need to select the arc shape from the basic shapes category. So like this, I'm going to increase the width a bit. Now you need to add a suitable color. So I thought to do a small gradient fill. That means I'm going to mix the colors. For the first color, I'll select like a light purple. Second color, we'll put light pink. For the last color, I'm going to add gray. So, I don't want the fourth slider, so I'll remove it. Okay, so now I'll move my arc into the proper place. Now I'm going to complete the circle of my spider by dragging this yellow point. Okay, so once after you finish everything like this, you can do the adjustments as you need. I'm going to make the spiral a bit smaller. Alright, now we need to add our spiral holes and the bindings until the page ends. So to do this, I'm going to use the Ctrl plus D shortcut combination to duplicate it. Okay, so I'll drag it like this and I will place it on the second position properly. So to complete the rest, just click the Ctrl D like this. Then you can fill the spirals and the holes until the end. Okay, so here you can see at the last point, it is not adjusted properly. So I'm going to select all together like this. And then I'm going to adjust it properly. Alright, so I'm done. So as you can see, now I have totally completed my first page of the notebook so with our next video we are going to learn how to do the inner cover of our notebook so stay tuned for the next video so see you with the next video soon thank you very much